right there, Sean Doyle. Ladies and gentlemen, Sean, get in here. Sean Doyle drove over eight hours one way to make it out here to Barry, Vermont, only for his opponent to pull out. So, Sean, your professionalism, man, you showed up. I just wanted to bring you in the cage and give you your moment, man. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Sean Doyle. Without going outside of like the PG-13 guidelines here, bro, is there anything you want to say about this experience? He's back in the back of the year, we're going to move on. We're going to love more. He's been long ago. We're living in New York, so we're going to so many other places. He's in the past. We're ready. We're ready. Anything. I want to be back here. I want to be in Buffalo. I want to be in New York City. I want to stay fighting. This camp was a real test for me to make sure I can make 125. I know there's some competition out there in the city. I know my name's been mentioned. We're going to come for it. We're going to come for it. For sure. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is Sean Doyle from Sound Doyle Boy Lao. Thank you, brother. And I'll tell you, man, if there's no people that want to fight you, we got a job for you at the commentary booth. But let's turn this over and do this 50 50. Yes, sir. Everyone, check your left pocket, your right pocket, your backpack, and your fanny pack. It's time to draw the winning ticket, benefiting the Granite City Kids and you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the main event of the evening. Six feet tall even. For Matthew Hayes, you got two inch height bands on Liam McNeil. Both these gentlemen, 21 years old. The title is on the line. Yeah. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our final fight of the evening. This is for the vacant 145 pound Dunny Brook Muay Thai title. Scheduled for five two minute rounds in the 145 pound division. Barry Vermont, Burlington, Pennsylvania, New Hampshire, New York. Are we ready? Let the battle and Barry commence. Please welcome into the blue corner, Leah McNeil. All right, Liam McNeil fighting on a KTA. What do you got for me on this gentleman, Ronnie? So he's fighting on a KTA. He's done Muay Thai for four years. Pro fighters he's inspired by are Liam Harrison and John Haggerty. The fight with rules is to touch gloves, to jump around, just get warmed up, and he will definitely be a Gusto's as his <laughs> post-fight plan. Yeah, well, Liam McNeil's got a 3-0 Muay Thai record. Uh, he won against Julian Nephew in Battle and Barry 12, and all of his fights have been won by unanimous decision. Very stoic walk out here this evening as the energy is high, the smile on the face of Liam McNeil, the entire KTA team, repping, ready to rock and roll. I can't get this guy, he's got the The elbow pads are on. The fun will be had here in our main event of the evening. Stepping into the Gusto's prep point. Checked over one final time as Kyle gets ready to let it into the enclosure. Target and practice, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm just getting started, getting feet wet. It's all in repetition, ain't a secret. All facts, up leg dress code. Pay me my respect, collecting every debt. Oh, the hardest. I break the pain. I break the pain. Not what she used to. Pain. It's all part of the game. Yeah. Liam McNeil, ready for this? The first title opportunity of the game. 
And now, making his way into the red corner, please welcome Matthew Hayes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here he is, your hometown guy, Matthew Hayes, fighting out of Granite City MMA. His sister, Sophia Hayes, Lucas John, in the corner. 2-0 in Muay Thai. He's been three years and four months at this. He's got a little bit of time. Chris Peral, the teammate, giving him the inspiration he needs to keep going here. No pre-flight ritual. Wants to get into MMA after this one's over. Let's see if he can go out there and capture that W. Oh, that is uh, Matthew Haynes has a 2-0 Muay Thai record. He won against Adam Novak in Battle and Barry 11 by unanimous decision. Both of his wins also unanimous decision. So someone's unanimous record is getting broken tonight. Someone's O has got to go. There you go. Lucas John taking the final moments with his fighter here. Very few coaches can find a way to connect with their athletes the way that Lucas John has found a way to connect with these Hayes siblings. In the Gusto's prep point is Matthew Hayes. One more check over as this gentleman makes the final walk of the evening. There he is, Matthew Hayes in the Donny Brook cage, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event for this Battle and Berry 14. Your eighth fight of the evening and the 145 pound division scheduled for five two minute rounds for the vacant Donnie Brook Boy Tie title. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 5 feet 10 inches, weighing 145 pounds. By way of London, Derry, New Hampshire, and training out of Kowasu Tengu Academy, he is the Toad Man, Liam McNeil! Liam McNeil. And across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, accompanied by coach Lucas John and Sophia Hayes. He stands six feet even, weighing 144.8 pounds. Originally from Naples, Florida, and now residing out of Corinth, Vermont, training out of Granite City, MLA. Make some noise for your Matthew. You are free for this contest, J.P.C. It is the Donnie Brook title. It's Matthew Hayes ready to go claim that. Can Liam McNeil take the dream away? And some final instructions for J.P.C. All right, ladies and gentlemen, your main event is underway. This fight brought to you by Bars Row Construction, now offering financing. And a nice kick off the start there. Take your job well, Liam McNeil in the yellow, the red trunks for the hometown guy, Matthew Hayes. Do they play traditional Thai music at Granite City? No. here so far as he closes that distance. Nice leg kicks from Matthew Hayes. Nice slamming each other. Nice knees. Double or triple up on those knees as he can stay on his feet. Nice job by Matthew Hayes. Oh, another nice one. Oh, my oh goodness. man, he is lighting his stomach up. He's really torquing on those knees and getting the, all the power he can into those. Yeah, elbow elbow there, Hayes. Too. Oh, oh, those knees are just devastating. The body definitely has a big target on it for Matthew Hayes. Liam McNeil just eating those knees, though. 
Yeah, but those are putting holes in the gas tank every time they land. McNeil, though, marching forward, at least temporarily there. Did the hard can have a stroke? It's gonna give me one. And a kick there. McNeil trying to work his way through these body strikes. Huh? Nice combo from Leon. The Grand Leon. City team must have seen something with the, all these body strikes, because they seem like they're a heavy part of the game plan here for Matthew Hayes. Into the first round. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't hear, hear that, hear that at all. Now. But Matthew Hayes dominated that round. Now the, the Hayes family happens to be sitting directly behind yeah. us, very enthusiastic. Yeah. I can't hate it, like, Poppy Hayes raising all sorts of hell here. Now, look at those knees, just one after another. You gotta Man, love it, because, it. sorry, I'm sitting here talking about the crowd. Let's talk about these replays brought to you by STF Media, as that one caught him off balance there. Yeah, he got a couple flips in there. You gotta love the support the Granite City team brings for all the guys here. Lucas looks like he's really happy with his fighters' performance thus far. Yeah, I didn't hear any commentary from the Granite City corner this approval of what he was doing. Oh, we're not going to rinse that off, I guess? All right. That's cool. Liam McNeil in the gold shorts. Matthew Hughes in the red shorts. I guess they haven't heard about monkeypox. Hayes catches the kick, returns one of his own as Liam fires out a few. Oh, McNeil putting a lot behind that shot as he eats one to the chest. And McNeil throwing a lot more combos this round. I wonder how compromised that one leg is that you saw if he flew on it and tried to plant and stumbled a little bit. McNeil looking a lot more confident in this round. Ooh. McNeil needs to get his back Ooh. off that fence. Those body shots adding up, though. They're trading knees back and forth there. Pushes the kick aside, throws one to that leg. Liam McNeil needs to put more pressure on. Because this seems like he does better when he can back now to walk. Yeah, I agree. That left side of the body of McNeil, though, as red as it can be. Yeah. Yeah, McNeil was throwing great combos there, but he seems to have gassed out a little bit. Corner from Granite City wants their fighter off that cage. Matthew Hayes acknowledged that strike from his opponent. He throws nice. right to the body. It's the end of the second of five rounds. Go back for some Ladies replays. and gentlemen, check your left pocket, check your right pocket. Somebody is not going home with their ID. If you're missing something, Stop by the merchandise tent. You lost more than you can handle. Check your stuff. You need to go home. Liam McNeil looking rather lax in the corner as well. Matthew Hayes, that normal style that he brings calm, cool, collected. I don't think I've ever seen any Matthew Hayes anything but steady. He's always in that calm, kind of relaxed state. Once again, folks, if you're just joining us, we're live here in Barry, Vermont, the Battle in Barry 14. This is the last round 
Nope, this is a five round. Oh, it's a five round. Yep, it's it's a round real. three of the main event of the evening. Boy Thai title, 145 pounds on the line. Matthew Hayes, William McNeil. Kick to the body from McNeil. Ooh, nice kick from McNeil. McNeil in the gold shorts, Matthew Hayes in the red. Back to that body work, the high pressure that we had in round one that really made a bunch of difference. Yeah. Well, each throwing really nice combos here. Nice leg kick from McNeil. Nice body kick. These strikes don't seem like they have as much power on them as they did earlier in the fight. So they seem like they're just a little bit more labored than they were before. Yeah, they're in the middle of this third round. They're getting a little tired. There's one in here. Definitely understandable. Yeah. Matthew Hayes landing a couple jabs there. Seconds left in the round. The end of the third round. Two more rounds left, potentially. That Grand round a little slower. The Granite City corner rushed in there pretty quick. I wonder what the urgency is for. They have a limited time period, so. Yeah, but that was more urgency than I'm used to seeing from Lucas John getting into the. Round number four. Once again, a special thank you to Barge Lowe's Construction. Shout out to Jimmy Mahoney. Sam Ballard of Comfort Inn and Suites, Montpellier, Berlin. Gusto's Bar, the after party taking place in just a few at 28 Prospect Place. Will and Charlie Davidson aired out all the calls podcasts. Yikes Berry and Beeman and Sons. Call Truck, Harrington's Food and Fuel. Mayor Tom Lawson, the Perry Podcast, and thank you to FEMA, the Windsor PD, and Perry Fire Department. All right, getting into round four of five potential rounds. This has been a fairly even fight. Yeah, I think it's been a good All right, Matthew Hayes closes that distance, presses forward. Looks like he's got a little bit more life for his back into him. Yeah, it does. Nice kick by Ian McNeil. These kicks here is Hayes. Going to the body. I'd like to see him get back to that knee from the clinch. Those heavy knees that he was throwing earlier. Yeah, Liam McNeil seems to be staying away from the fence a lot more than he was in those earlier rounds. These guys keeping it fairly close to the center until this point. A little bit of kick down from McNeil. Kind of caught him off guard as Hayes throws a side kick to the body. That was a nice knee from McNeil. Flip there from Hayes. McNeil's kind of laughing over there. He's having a good time. Oh, there's a nice combination. There's a nice combination. 
McGill doing a good job of really pushing Matthew Hayes back. Difficult it is when you're the hometown guy. You have a bunch of people calling you or calling you out in the crowd. They're yelling to you. Does it make it harder to hear your corner? Yeah, it definitely, definitely does. All right, we get to the end of round four here. It's an urgency for them to be in that cage. Hey. I don't know. I think William McGill might have taken that round. He had some really great combos. He did a great job of keeping Matthew Hughes back. So this will be our fifth and final round of this title fight for the 145 pound Muay Thai. If belt. you enjoyed Battle and Barry 14, you can't wait for the next one. Mark it on your calendar now, December 7th. We're back. Battle and Barry 15 coming to you. Be sure to follow us online at dbpromotions.com. Uh, here we go with the last round. Ladies and gentlemen, the missing item. Items. His life. Vermont State ID. McDonald, Lampier. Go the fifth and final round of our main event of the evening. Matthew Hayes coming out strong. But these guys know it's a split at this point. Could be anyone's anyone's win. In those situations always leave a person on the worst end of the decision, wishing they had done more. Yep. One of these guys wants that title. I don't know how this fight has been scored. Yeah, it's a toss-up. Yeah. Uh, it might come down to this round. Certainly a possibility if John Paul Zuniga splits them up. These guys are tired. We are just under, or just over 45 seconds left in this fight. Matthew Hayes, Liam McNeil both trying to pour it on, use what they've got left in the gas tank. There's those, there's those knees. That's what he needs to do. He needs to oh, body. A protest. Yeah, that light protesting. Oh, nice overhand by McNeil. Right kick from McNeil as we round out the last little bit of this round. Hayes pressing him up against the fence. JP not letting him rest here. All right, we are at the end of the main event. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. It goes to the judges' scorecards. Mutual respect shown between these combatants. Let's take a look at this replay brought to you by STF Media. I would not want to be the judges for this fight. No, that is a tight, tight man. All right, gentlemen, once I get back from that post fight, we'll send this pay per view home so you can bear with it. Let's take a look at these replays. Uh, some more knees in this round for Matthew Hayes. Yeah, absolutely. And Liam McNeil had some really good combos in this round as well. I would be able to judge that one. This is going to be a really interesting decision. And it ain't something that I'm planning. I dare you to say something. My focus is A1. Every dog has his day. It's been mine since day one. This is real grinding. I'm still climbing. Why you still trying? I'm still shining. It's real blinding. And I'm getting hotter too. Talking top two. I'm not a two. You let the pressure bother you. And I do what I gotta do. Let's go home.
Barry Vermont, put your hands together for all of our athletes who have competed on tonight's Battle of the Barry 14. We've done it. We now head to our judges scorecards for your winner and new 145 pound Donnie Brook Muay Thai title holder by unanimous decision fighting out of the blue corner. Correct. Oh, that goes to uh, Leon McNeil. Leon McNeil. We have created, created. Thought I told y'all that it's my world. They ain't try me yet. Get some mind blown when they throw shade. That's when I glow. I'm so ahead of y'all. That's a different time zone. Ooh, I gotta go. I've been working, told them please don't hit my phone. I'm in my zone, bruh. Just leave me alone. Was on the road, but I swear I'm coming home. Now the drinks on me, I think we need it. Let's give it up for your winner, Toad Man, Liam McNeil. Liam, you claim the first of what could be multiple amateur titles here. You've done it, my guy. Give me that thought process. That was a crazy fight. That shit hurt a lot. I'm in a lot of pain right now, but I'm very grateful for my coaches, for my family that came to support me, my friends right here. I love you three. Uh, yeah, no other words. My man gotta go smoke some weed, drink, and uh, eat a burger or something. All right, guys, you can catch the new champ down at Gusto's. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and new featherweight Muay Thai champion. He is Toad Man. He is Liam McNeil. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here in Barrie, Vermont. For Battle in Barry 14, it has been our honor to give you guys another great card. We're back here December 7th. Get your tickets, DonnybrookFightPromotions.com. Once again, thank you guys for attending. Drive safe and have a good night, everybody. Tonight's event was produced by STF Media. Visit stfmedia.us for more information. If you can dream it, we can stream it. Executive producer Sean Framers, John Yetman as well in attendance. Our cameraman wheels on the mobile cam. We had Tyler, Ben Brown, and Carl Parton. Thank you all for another wonderful job. Well done. All right, Granny. They got my back. Seen these people talking, but they jealous of me. So I never listen when they try to tell it to me. And no, I lost so many people. That's a blessing to me. Yeah, I took too many L's, but they lessons to me. Thought yeah. I told y'all that it's my world. They ain't try me yet. Get your mind blown when they throw shade. That's when I glow. I'm so ahead of y'all. That's a different time zone.